Hello guys and welcome your faces back to another Stormworks video. Today we're going to be testing out a B-17 called the Let's Spreader. Yes! Hey! Okay, so let's go ahead and open this thing up. There we go. There she is right there. So this thing was built by Sergeant McSquiglet. Sergeant McSquiglet. Awesome name, dude. How do I get inside of this thing? Um, that's always the first question. How do you get inside? There's a button right here. Okay, and then there's a little handle. And then you just jump on the handle. You turn around, you crouch, and then you're in. Bam. Easy peasy. Okay, so let's have a quick little look around. Right here, we got like a little gunner seat. Okay, we got a toggle button. Not entirely sure what that toggle button does. Okay, so we're not going to press that anymore. Okay, let's go up here. Oh, oh. Okay, we broke something. We did break something because we got on a ladder. And that put us in the ground. Okay, then we walk across. Oh, Jesus. Okay, I fell down. I fell down. That's where the bombs go. There are no bombs on this thing. What is that? Okay, right. <laughs> uh, right, let's get inside. Okay, instead of actually uh, breaking this thing, let's go ahead and get inside and... Um... <laughs> Uh, uh, right, okay, we need to stop giggling. Stop giggling! There is nothing funny about that. Nothing! Okay, get inside, please. Please. There we go, alright. We just need to take off and then we'll fly around and then we'll see what- I did it again. I actually got on the ladder again. I'm so stupid. Alright, get in the seat. We'll have a little look what- Oh! I hate things. I hate things. We can actually get inside. That's okay. Right, can we close the Bombay door? That's probably a better idea than, than continuously going across there. Parking brake? Yeah, sure, we need that. Uh, eh. Okay, right. Cross it. We can't. Yeah, there we go. There we go. All right, beautiful. Where do we close the landing? What? How do I close the landing? Duh. The bomb bay door. What is all this? What is that? I'm so confused. We got little guns. That's nice. We got a little ball turret thing right there. That's nice too. How do I close the bomb bay doors? Is that something this seat does? No? Is that something the thing does back here? Maybe? Is that what this does? It might be what- Oh, I did it again! Oh, I keep jumping on that ladder. Is they closed now? They're closed. Ah, there we go. Alright, start it up and let's go. Here we go. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. No, it's not really working, is it? It's not re- No. Alright, this is not going to plan. Okay, I'm starting up the engines. Uh, we need to turn right a little bit. Oh, man. Yeah, we just made it. We just made it. Okay, continue going forwards. We're going to go ahead and take off towards the mission over there that I've selected, which is the oil tanker. Now, I did think, to begin with, that uh, this thing would have bombs. I, I thought that to begin with. But uh, now that I've actually looked in it and there is no bombs, I'm a little bit upset. However... Okay, and there is a good however on this one. I think it looks great. So maybe we don't even need bombs. There you go, we're throttling up all the way. And we're going. We're in the air. We're flying. Okay, landing gear, bring it up. Wait, does it actually come up? Let's have a little look, see what it does. Okay, it just sort of merges with an engine. All right. We got some really weird flight characteristics on this thing. Sometimes it, like, it just does itself. I don't know. I don't know how to explain what it does. It just does itself. Yeah. Those middle engines don't appear to be spinning as fast as the outer ones, but they actually also look like they've... They, they start with less props in the first place. Okay, that's very confusing. The, the middle ones have less props than the than the outer edge ones. Interesting. Uh, we've got a gunner on the top as well. I didn't actually notice that, but is that above the... Uh, above the big drop? It is. It's above the, uh, the way in. That's interesting. Okay, it's just got windy, but uh, if we look down there, there's the little tanker. Okay, let's give it a buzz. Buzz the tanker, as they say. I don't think they ever say that, but yeah, here we go. We're buzzing the tanker. Meow. That was close. That was actually very, very close. Uh, yeah. I, I did kind of want to bomb the tanker until I realized that this thing has no bombs. So now I'm not actually sure what I should do. I think because it's windy and there's a little storm going on, let's go ahead and land at my waypoint all the way back there. And uh, yeah, we'll see what happens from there. Also, just looking at this thing, I don't know why we've got a big winch right here on the top. I, is that supposed to connect to here? I, do we have to do that ourselves? We probably have to do that ourselves. Also, we need to like swip, swippity swoop into this. 
uh, to be able to land. All right, landing gear, go down. Landing gear is gonna go down. There we go. Uh, throttle, throttle down. Okay, we're going in. We're going in for a landing. It is a little bit windy, so we are getting swept sideways. Just a little bit. In fact, actually quite a lot. We're getting swept sideways quite a lot, and we are quite high. And there's no lights on the runway. Oh, now there is. Okay, interesting. Here we go. All right, we need to go. We need to fly by. We need to do a flyby. All right, okay. We're taking off again. Okay, the weather has just got a lot worse. I did that. I did that. That was me. That was me. Okay, right. We're going to turn around, and we're going to land the other direction now. Because I feel like we got this. I feel like... What's our throttle on? All right, 52. That seems good. All right, landing lights. Where are those? There we go, landing lights. Beautiful. Oh, wow. If you've got epilepsy or anything like that, uh, I'm sorry, I guess. I've just cut them off. I just turned my engines fully off. Landed. Totally landed. Totally landed. No! Oh, no! Oh, no! Oh, no! No! All right. Well, I mean, we did land, and, th and then we did this. Yeah. Interesting. I want to actually attempt to land this thing properly, so I'm going to try it again. We're going to get back inside. We're probably just going to land on this runway, and then we'll go ahead and we'll try out a, uh, um, a, a heli. A heli that I found. Yeah, we'll, we'll go ahead and try that out. Okay, here we go. We're inside. Beautiful. Go upstairs. Jump into the pilot seat. Great. Okay, start all the, the things. There we go. But, oh, oh, we drifted sideways. We, we actually hit our wingtip, but that's okay. All right, turn all these things off. We don't need them on anymore. And we're flying away. We're going to land on that runway, though. Don't worry. We'll turn around. I completely forgot about those doors. All right, I need to go close those. Give me a second. Here we go. All right, so, so we'll just sit like this. That's good. All right, quick. Go, 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 go. Don't fall down those holes. Uh, bam. There we go. Good. Get in the seat. Nice. There we go. They're back up. Our landing gear is still down, though, which is interesting. I, I think that's okay. I think that's fine. Can we fly through that gap? All right. Landing gear up while we fly through the gap, everybody. Are we big enough? I mean, small enough? I mean, yeah, agile enough? Anything? Are we able to do this? All right. Let's go in first person. Here we go. This is going to be interesting. Very interesting. We need to go sort of like diagonal. Okay, that, that definitely, definitely didn't work. Yeah, that definitely, definitely, definitely didn't work. All right. Well, um, let's switch to the helicopter anyway, because we might as well, right? Actually, no, I really want to land this thing. Okay, right. We're landing up on the runway, and I should go ahead and say that uh, I damaged my wing on takeoff because, um, yeah, we, we flew it into the wall of the hangar. Anyway, that's, that's completely fine. That is beside the point. Anyway, let's go. Let's go. Come on. We got to land this thing properly uh, to give us a chance at freedom or something. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what I'm saying right now. Here we go. You ready? You ready? We're gonna we're gonna go down. Here we go. There we go. Landed. Landed. Good job, everybody. Good job. We have variable brakes, but they do seem to be very very touchy. If you push the variable brake, it brakes very hard. Anyway, we landed. All right. Fantastic. Okay, so there it is. This is the Bell UH-1H Huey. So we're going to go ahead and, uh, I, I was going to say push it outside, but I don't think we can do that. Uh, we're going to fly this thing around. It seems like a good idea. So, yeah, there you go. Okay, so we got to figure out how this thing works. Let's go ahead and jump inside real quick. There we go with the pilot. Now, one, it says main, main gen on. Okay, main gen is, is up here somewhere. Let's go ahead and, let's go ahead and work to the, uh, the instructions. Battery on. There we go. Good. Fuel pump on. Fantastic. Starter hold until 30 RPM. Okay. Starter is this. Hold until 30 RPM. Where does it show our RPM? There. Okay, there we go. I let go. I let go. Throttle toggle on. Uh, not entirely sure what that means. Let's press three. Okay, beautiful. And then we go inverter on, which is above us somewhere. There we go. Good. And then we start the generator. Let's do the, ge the the lights as well. There we go. Dome light, yeah. Instrument lighting, yeah. There we go. And then we turn on the final thing, which is whatever this is. Whatever this is. There we go. Standby gen is on. And then take off. Okay. Off we go. Easy peasy, right? Easy peasy. We're out of here. Okay. Up. Let's go. Fly away. Yeah. All right. Okay. Okay. 
Okay, yeah. I love flying uh, this thing around in Arma 2. Arma 2 is so cool. We're going to try and fly through that dome as well. Uh, not dome. Um, arc? Bridge. Something. I, why, why am I... Uh, I can't speak English anymore. Also, I really want to close those back doors. So I'm going to go there. Uh, and how do I close the back door? Have we got any buttons to close? I can't close the back doors because it's all the way back there. Anyway, it seems to want to go backwards a lot. That's okay though because, um, yeah, that's fine. And that's what happens when you're not really paying that much attention to what the helicopter's doing while you're trying to do some shots. Anyway, we're dead. We're dead. But as a positive note, we actually know how to start this thing up now. So I'm going to quickly do that and I'll be back with you in a second. Okay, here we go. We're going to go for it. We're going to try and fly straight through this uh, arch. Arch. Is that the right word? Yeah, sure. We're going to go with arch. Um, I said dome. Why would I say dome? I don't know. I don't know why I would say dome. We're going at this from like the complete wrong angle. But I'm sure that's okay. Uh, yeah, we're just gonna fly straight through. I can't see what's going on. What is that noise? Did the fan just turn on? Uh, this is like fan assisted. All right, here we go. Oh wow, we just wiggled to the side. My bad. All right, here we go. Straight through. Turn around. Go back over the top and do a loop de loop. We can go straight. Oh Jesus. Okay, that. Oh Jesus. Yeah, that didn't go as planned. I was gonna try and go like straight back through, but. But I, I dived into the arch instead. Yeah. Ripperoni and pepperoni to that helicopter. Just as a side note as well. Um, whoa, 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 whoa. It does actually have an auto hover. So if we ever want to need to be, ever, ever want to need to be, uh, if we ever actually need to be stable, then we can just press one and then we've got auto hover and it's completely fine, which is nice. You might as well fly with that on all the time. So I'm going to. Anyway, we're going to medevac a sick rig worker, take him to hospital, and that'll be our mission. Okay, here we are. We're at the uh, destination. Um, every time or sometimes when I turn off the auto hover, it seems to want to do whatever it wants to do. So sometimes it was just diving out the sky. I'm, I'm sure that's probably something to do with me, but uh, I don't know. Anyway, we're landing here, so let's do it. Here we go. Should be relatively easy to do. Here we go. We're actually, it's quite quick whenever you dive down like that, but yeah, we're there now. We're there. Here we go. Landed. Landed. Everybody on. Uh, also, I'm going to close the doors because uh, I haven't tried that yet. There's a button somewhere, right? Is this the button? Wait, what is that? What does that do? Yo, how do I close these doors? Am I being stupid? Is there a button in here? In here? No. Where's the button to close the doors? Do you do it? No. I'm so confused. Who closes? The Can we not close the doors? Is that a thing? That's probably the thing. We probably can't close the doors. All right, makes sense. I'm coming to save you. You're a sick rig worker. I know. I know. She's slacking. That's what's happening. She's just she's just wanting the day off. That's all. All right. Get in there. We're going. We're going. Pilot seat. Off we go. Whee. Easy peasy. That was, that was easy. And I can see the island we're going to already. It's only three kilometers away. So we can already we can already see it. That's good. That's really nice. Okay, we're in like a stormy weather now, so we gotta quickly put it down without getting hit by lightning. In fact, I haven't had that happen to me in quite a while, so uh, if anyone knows how to actually make that happen, or how that does happen, then, then let me know. Because that, that is a cool idea. Wait, hold on. There's a box right there. We can probably get that box. No, let's land backwards. It's okay. There we go. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna land over here on the helipad. Right here. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Beautiful. All right, everybody out. There's just me and you. I know. All right, we're going. So almost every helicopter that I've ever tried has always just flown away from me whenever I landed here. So um, it's quite nice that this one's staying on the floor. How much money do we get? 12,000? Yeah, boy. Yeah, so it's quite nice that this one actually stayed on the floor. Anyway, uh, I'm going to go ahead and end this video here for now. If you guys want to test out any of these vehicles then uh, you guys can. I'll link them both down below so you guys can play around with them for yourself. Uh, but for right now, thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye. Whee! How did I survive that?